Hello everyone, this is Asfan and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today's video is very exciting for me because I am going to shoot something that I really love, something that I can spend hours and hours reading about or just looking at it whole day long. I am talking about my passion for cars and my love for the cars. When I got this opportunity to come and check out the new Panamera 2024, I was super stoked and super excited. You can see it on my face. And I want to share my fun and my excitement with you guys. That's why I'm shooting this beautiful video. I think we're going to have a lot of fun in this video. Without further ado, let's go inside, take a look at this beautiful machine. Come with me. Nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy uh, And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer No exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, So can't stay sober, looking over all that shit Here I am standing right next to the beautiful new generation of Porsche Panamera 2024 and oh my god look at this car how beautiful it is. But before we get into the video I would give a big shout out to Beijing Porsche for providing me this opportunity to come here take a look at this car and shoot a video. I'm really thankful. Now let's get into the video. Let's start with the key of the new Panamera. The key is exactly the same as the last generation. It's the classic Porsche key and I like it a lot. I don't think it needs any changes but you know this plastic is a bit a little bit cheaper. I think with the leather cover it will look even better. The first change that I noticed as soon as I entered and saw this car is this new beautiful light. The headlights of this car are really amazing and is really an upgrade from the last generation. Just look at it, how beautiful and sporty this design is. I recently learned that Panamera is not Porsche's first try at a saloon or a sedan. Before that, in 2002, Porsche tried its very first attempt on a luxury saloon as 989. Take a look and look how ugly it looks. So Porsche did hit and trial, designed several sedans and saloons before they arrived to this perfection and this beautiful design in 2024. Porsche Panamera was first introduced in 2009 and you can see the picture on the screen. To be honest, if I'm comparing the design to the latest generation or to the second generation of Porsche Panamera, that car looked ugly. But at that time, it was very well received by the customers and thanks to those customers that today we have the beautiful third generation of this car. In 2017, Porsche Panamera received its second generation, which was revolutionized. The design was really good and the car finally looks amazing. And it was very well received by many customers in different markets. And thanks to this design, Panamera was a huge hit. And now we have in 2024, the third generation of Panamera, which is even more aggressive, more sporty, more luxurious, and the design even looks better than the second generation. Now let's talk about the rear end of the Porsche Panamera. The rear lights are even more good looking now. They are more sleek than the previous generation and are very similar to the beautiful Taycan. These sleek rear lights makes the car even more sexy. A lot of people say that the exterior of this car is not very different from the 2023 model, but I disagree. I think if I see this, the new generation 2024 Panamera going on the road, it's very easily recognizable that it's not the 2023 model because the model looks more aggressive, it's more sporty, and the road presence is definitely better than the last one. Just look at the lines on the hood of this car. I think they're giving it a very muscular look. The front bumper is also new. And of course, you know, all these air vents we see, it's Porsche we're talking about. So all of these are real air vents, nothing fake here. I also want to take a look at the last generation. Look at this one. The headlights, they look beautiful, but not as good as the new generation. And also, if you can see the bumper, it's quite different from the latest one. The warning lights in the bumper now are vertical instead of horizontal. If you remember the last generation, the warning lights were horizontal. Look at the side profile of this car and let's compare it to the second generation. 
The car, of course, comes with the soft closing door, which adds to the luxury of the car. A very minimalistic indicator. After we have checked the exterior of the car, now it's time to go inside and take a look at the beautiful interior of this new generation. So this is a white with red combination, the classic Porsche combination. You can never go wrong with the red interior and the white exterior combination. Just look how gorgeous it looks. Here we are at the inside of the car and everything, the leather, the logo, the quality of the plastics, everything just looks beautiful. The seats are 18-way adjustable with a four-way lumbar support. The car has this beautiful glass roof and it looks really nice. The front end of this roof can be opened while behind the pillar you have a shade for the hot days. Behind the steering wheel you get this massive curved LED screen with all the information for the driver. And then next to it you have this infotainment system which is also a pretty huge LED screen. The controls on this feels really nice and responsive to the touch. I like the fact that the Porsche still gives you some physical buttons and it's very good for the driver. When you are driving, the physical buttons, in my opinion, are far superior to a touch screen. The center console feels really sturdy and in place. There is no cheap plastics, no cheap quality materials at all. Everything looks very high end and luxurious. And of course, you also get the iconic Porsche clock in the middle. There are two cup holders. And then there is this storage space with the USB type C and uh, electric wireless charger. The gear shifter of the car is now in the dashboard, just like the 911. And the design of the gear shifter is very sleek and beautiful. And here is your parking brake. Now you also have an option to have a third screen here for the front passenger, which to be honest, I don't understand because you're literally sitting right next to the center infotainment system. So that screen will be totally useless. I'm happy they didn't make it a standard feature. The air vents have this modern beautiful look to it and all of this center console it comes in this glossy plastic finish it does catch some fingerprints but overall the car's look is really nice now to be honest i cannot find any cheap bits of material in whole interior everything just looks nice be it the sun visors even they are good quality there is no use of cheap plastics or anything the front lights, even the rear view mirror, it's borderless and it looks very nice. Let's talk about the storage space in the center console. It's pretty decent, you get two compartments. Of course, this partition is removable and you also get a 12 volt socket. On the steering wheel, you get your drive select modes and you can see it on your infotainment system. So you got normal, sport, and Sport Plus. I really like the fact that everything is driver centric. The infotainment system behind the steering wheel is really good and it gives you all the information. You don't need to turn your head to look on the right screen for anything. Everything is right in front of you. Now let's go to the back of the car because it's a sedan. We have to check the rear seats as well. This particular car has an executive lounge, so only two seats in the rear end. Here is the rear infotainment screen, which is also very good quality. You can control everything from the back. You also get two USB Type-C ports in the back. You got a mini center console for the rear passengers, which opens like this. There's an ashtray and then the other one is a cup holder. The legroom is quite ample, but it's not very good. If the driver is more than six feet, you are going to have very tight space for your legs. But the headroom is comparatively very nice. The rear passengers not only have the air vents in the center, but also on the doors. That makes it even more ventilated. The door bins are really small. You can only fit in a small bottle. But overall, I love the design. And look at this beautiful ambient lighting. Blue with red, this combination looks really beautiful. The luggage compartment of Panamera offers plenty of space and it's easily accessible thanks to the large automatic tailgate. With the rear seats folded down, even larger objects can be transported. Entry-level Panamera features a 348 horsepower turbocharged V6, while the top variant comes with 670 horsepower twin turbocharged V8 and a hybrid motor. I had a great time shooting this video and I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the comments section, let me know, should I do more car videos? I'll see you in the next video. I got nightmares in my head, I fear.